Welcome back everybody. In this question, we're told that a rectangular cube has a volume of x cubed minus 8x squared minus 48x. We have to find an expression for the surface area. So let's do a little review when we're dealing with a rectangular cube. Say we got this over here. Now if you remember, a cube has height the length, and then the width. And we know that the volume of a cube is basically length times width times height. So we know what the volume is. What about the surface area of a cube? Well, the surface area is basically the area of all six faces added together. And notice that there are three pairs of the same faces. So for example, this face here on the side it has an area of length times height, and there's two of them, one here and then one on that side there. They both have the same area. So there's two of them, and, the, and uh, each face has a um, area of length times height. And then the same thing for the top face and then the bottom face. The top and the bottom face have an area of length times width, and there's two of them. So two times length times width. And then the face in front and the one at the back, they both have an area of uh, width times height, and there's two of them as well. So just a little review for a cube, how it works. Volume is length times width times height. Surface area is this formula here. 2 times length times height plus 2 times length times width plus 2 times width times height. And notice that this is six faces here that we are adding. So we're told that the volume of the cube is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared minus 48x. So if we can maybe take this volume here, this expression, and factor it into three terms, we would have an expression for the length, the width, and then the height. And then we could take those expressions for each uh, side and plug it into this surface area formula, and then just simplify that. So taking this and factoring it, notice how we could take an x out of everything. We'd be left with x squared minus 8x minus 48, and then this here, this remaining bracket, that could factor into x minus 12, x plus 4. And now notice that we have three expressions that are multiplying by each other. So that's basically like the length, the width, and then the height. It doesn't matter which order you put them in. This could have maybe been the length, this could have been the width, it doesn't matter, but three expressions, you can name one of the sides for each one. So going back to here now, we have to find an expression for the surface area. So what we can do is we could take two, actually you know what, let me give myself a little more room, I'm gonna start it over here. So surface area is two times length times height. So the length x times the height, x plus four plus 2 times length um, x times the width x minus 12 plus 2 uh, width times height, so x minus 12 times x plus 4, like that. And now we just have to expand all of this and then simplify all the like terms. So if we do that, uh, this is like a 2x here, so 2 times x, that's like 2x in front. Same thing here, this is like a 2x. So we could distribute inside the bracket, so we'd have 2x squared plus 8x plus 2x squared minus 24x plus 2. And then we could FOIL out these two brackets here, and that's actually equal to this. x minus 12 times x plus 4 is that bracket. So we could rewrite that x squared minus 8x minus 48. Then we'd have to distribute that 2 inside the bracket. 
And then over here, let's collect some like terms. So 2x squared plus 2x squared, that's 4x squared. And then we got 8x minus 24x, which would give us minus uh, 16x. And then over here, plus 2x squared minus 16x minus 96, like that. So then further, like terms, we get 6x squared. This here would be minus 32x and then the minus 96 is just by itself. So that there is an expression for the surface area. 6x squared minus 32x minus 96. So we have to take the volume expression, factor it first, and then got three terms. That's the length, width, and height. Then we took that length, width, and height, plugged it into the general surface area formula for a cubed up here, simplified everything, that's the final answer.